Hi guys, welcome back and this is another uh, interview with artists. So today I have Claire who actually taught me this beautiful painting behind. Hi guys, where are you based basically? Sure, so my name is Claire and I've been, um, I'm an artist but I also have other jobs. Um, and I am in Sydney and I have been doing this job for about four or five years and uh, I am teaching people how to paint and have fun and to show people how everybody can paint even if you think that you cannot do art or you cannot paint it's not true you can actually anyone can create anyone can paint most people that come to the class uh, have never painted before and when they come they go home they go home with a lovely painting so it puts a smile on their face and everyone's happy and that's what I want to uh, I want to cause that effect so that makes me happy too when did you come to Sydney and what do you love about Sydney sure so I came to Australia 13 years ago from France but in Sydney I came here six years ago and uh, I love about Sydney how uh, it's multicultural like you have people from all over the world different nationalities everywhere it's full of different languages and I love that and I also love that it's um, you, you can be in the city and within less than half an hour or even 10 minutes you can be at the beach and have some of the most amazing beaches in the world and you can go to the blue mountains only a couple of hours away from here you can go skiing not that too far away from here there is a lot of different things to do in Sydney it's a truly incredible city and I'm from Paris and I didn't want to live into a big city I didn't want to go back to a big big city so I for the first six years of being in Australia I was in the west coast but uh, when I arrived in Sydney I actually really liked I fell in love with it actually Love Sydney too. <laughs> Coming back to your art related question, so you said that you love teaching people and you like telling people that this is how they can actually paint and they can take a beautiful piece home. So have you ever had a very difficult customer who has been really, really difficult? Yeah, <laughs> it's a good question because I think that we, when you have a job that you deal with people, you always going to you have to be prepared that you are always going to run into some kind of interesting people <laughs> some people that will cause more trouble some people that will be less social or less you know and i think you have to have the mindset that you are going to run into these people so you have to constantly prepare yourself to any situation you know i think um everyone needs to prepare to that because some people might be having a terrible day some people might be depressed some people might be coming to your class because they have a mental thing that they're trying to relax you know so you 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 you've got to stay out of that and you have to just make sure that everyone's having a, a good time and i think having very good control meaning being having a really good communication with people and telling them very simply what to do to avoid any confusion will help people to really know what they need to do and simplify everything makes less confusion in their head yeah yeah that's very therapeutic so yeah. that's true another question about the painting itself today we did acrylic paints but then what is your best medium of paints which one do you love the most to be honest for me i've always painted with acrylic paint mostly i love um uh, aqua aquarelle or i like all the oil paintings too i love it but for me i have always painted with acrylic and i love what you can do with acrylic because you can imitate any kind of paintings you can really do very watery kind of paintings you can make it look like a real oil painting so I, I like the diversity of uh, acrylic paint, really. You can play around with it a lot. For the new artists, if there is one piece of advice that you would like to give, what would it be? 
and uh, where, where can they start basically? Sure, I think, um, I think that art uh, is misunderstood a lot of the time and I think art, what we need to know is that art is a, is a, um, a tool for communication. So I think that art is a way to express a feeling or express if you look at everyone's paintings you can think sometimes it shows how they think in their head like some people's paintings will be very very messy well maybe that's how they feel that day you know so i think that it's a it's a way of expressing oneself so we have to look at it um what you see through art is a way of communicating like if you hear a beautiful piece of piano being played you you feel some emotions it's communicating something sad or something happy but it's a it's a source of communication and also i feel I, I think that if you artists out there are just starting and you don't know where to start i just want to tell you that you can do anything you want no matter what it is you just have to start with something and practice 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 that's all it is whether you're going to be a football player whether you're going to be an artist you have to start the thing that you are passionate about and just practice 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 and there is no other secret that's it yeah that's a beautiful piece of advice yeah. so if our viewers have to find you where can they find you uh sure so you can find me on facebook so you can find me on uh, life with paint life with paint uh, sydney on facebook and you can like our page and you can send us a pm um, private message and we can or an email and then we can get back to you and help you and give you more advices yeah that's that's really nice thank yeah. you so much it was really wonderful yeah you're welcome thank you. Bye guys. See ya.